This video is gonna be about my training for the next month to do a Spartan race. I did one previously in 2018. It was the sprint. Now I'm moving on to the super, which is a little bit longer, a couple more obstacles. The last Spartan race I did was the hardest physical thing I had done in my life. And it's been a few years. I think it's time that I pushed myself to that limit again. My birthday's in two days, July 22nd, and then I'll have exactly a month to train until August 22nd when the Spartan race occurs. Since it is my birthday in two days, I'm gonna attempt to raise some money on Facebook to help me cover the cost of this race. I thought, why not? Why not ask if people wanna help me kick my own butt? All right, let's see what happens. Important part about getting strong, eat. Everybody's gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Sweet potatoes, chickens, it's so good. I think it's important to note that there are so many different ways of training, so many ways of upping the amount of exercise that you're doing. The way that I personally do it is just listening to my body. I've been an athlete for a long time, so I know when my body feels okay to do more exercise, and I know when I really need a rest day. The only real plan I have for all of this is that I will rest for two days, two and a half days before the race so that my body is fully recovered. Otherwise though, it's just a mental game. Your body can do a lot more than you think it can. It's your mind that is constantly telling you, stop, you don't have to do this anymore. In terms of what I'll be eating during this whole process, mainly a lot of protein during the day. I'm gonna save my carbs for at night. Eat a potato, rice, or pasta, anything that'll give me energy for the next day. I'm gonna do the same thing for the race. I'm gonna carb load the night before so that I um, stick to the same schedule as during my training this month. Now this is exciting. This is the first pair of running shoes that I've ever bought. Did my research, they should keep my feet cool. They're nice and light and well padded. But these should do the trick. What do you think, buddy? Miles obviously likes them already and I haven't even opened the box yet. Oh yeah. They feel really nice so far. And they're nice and tight on my foot. I think these are, I think these should be perfect. All right, today's goal is about six miles in 45 minutes or less, which is not an insane goal, but I haven't run this long in a long time. I'm on the last like half mile and I just cramped up super hard in my quad. Luckily I have electrolytes with me. Honestly, I was thinking of not bringing water at all because I thought I wouldn't need it, but I forgot about cramps, that's a thing. Today's running mission is Wilhelmina Rise, which is just a really steep hill in Kaimuki. I've done this one once before, but it was years ago, so we'll see how it goes today. Well, life has nearly killed me, and my mind has put me on, yeah. I'm kind of nervous, it looks really steep. Life has nearly killed me, and my mind has put me on, yeah. I can barely crawl, I've got to walk with his angels. There's a really nice breeze right now, which is quite a blessing going down. I'm back down at the bottom, I made it. What I really wanted to do is the last obstacle in the Spartan race is a fire pit that you jump over. I really want to flip over it, so now that my legs are completely destroyed, I'm going to go on and try to do a couple flips. Update on my Facebook campaign where I asked people to donate to help me kick my own butt. Hello. I raised $560.
I only asked for 200, but the Turner family came out strong and really helped me out here. So with that money, I was able to buy some electrolytes, a pair of new running shoes, and some extra mushrooms. I bought lion's mane mushroom, which is good for mental clarity. I got cordyceps mushroom, which is good with oxygen intake in your body, one of my favorites. And then reishi mushrooms for recovery, helps your body relax. Thank you to anyone who donated to that. I feel very special. I appreciate you. We're just four days away from this thing. I have not gotten in as much training as I've wanted to. I've gotten good training sessions in, but I've been working two jobs, I've been very busy. I do feel physically fit, so I know that I can make it through this race. The question is, how well will I do? In my previous race in 2019, I placed 17th out of about 2,200 people, which is pretty damn good. Uh, I, I felt very happy about that. But as one of my students told me, I now have to place better than that in this race to show that I am improving my skills. I'm gonna trust in my fitness, I'm gonna trust in my mental fortitude, and push through this damn thing. It's race day. For breakfast, like three and a half hours before the race, just potato, egg, and bean. I'm a little bit nervous, but also not really, because I figure it just is what it is. When I get there, I show up, I do my best, and that's all I can do. And then the real question is, will I have enough energy to do a side flip over the fire pit? I would be so excited if that's the case. I haven't done any real working out the past like three or four days, just a lot of stretching, and that's what I'm gonna do this morning. Eat, stretch, make sure I'm getting hydrated, and then do the damn race. You are standing in line waiting to get into the corral. Please have your mask on at all times on my best finished. I made it through. Probably could have done a little better with some more training. My legs were fully seized up the last mile of the of the race. I was hobbling along, hobbled across the finish line. But hey, I made it through. And honestly, the last time I did one of these races, I did not want anything to do with it for a long time. But this time I feel more inspired. I, I want to keep my fitness level up. And so I think I'll be doing one of these at least once a year. Try to do one with my brother, with my cousin. It's just a really fun way to challenge myself. Thanks for coming along for the journey. I'll be back in the YouTube game a little bit more starting in January when I'm full-time parkour instructor, which is super exciting, bro. Until I see you again, thanks for being here. Stay fit, drink water, eat big. Later.